G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video we are on to the final part of my NRL predictions for 2023. The final part will be my award predictions and you will see them pop up to my left. Now, I'm going to go through these one by one. Um, so I'll give you the Rookie of the Year, Captain of the Year, Coach of the Year, um, my pick for the Ken Irvine Medal, Point Scorer of, of the Year, VB Hard Earned Player, and my NRLW uh, Dally M, as well as my Team of the Year, and my top five picks for the Dally M. Now, some of these might feel a bit... Um, so what I'm looking for, a little bit biased because there are a lot of Rabbitohs in here, but as per my NRL ladder predictions, I've got the Rabbitohs finishing third, and I think that will be on the back of some of these players. So, to kick things off, we're doing Rookie of the Year. For me, the Rookie of the Year is going to be Paul Alamotti from the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Now, this bloke is an absolute wrecking ball of a player, and I'd be very surprised if he doesn't make the cut for round one. I think he's going to absolutely rip and tear in the preseason to make sure that he makes that centre jersey his. Now, Aaron Shop has left the Doggies to join the Gold Coast Titans, which leaves a spot open in the centres. However, I am hearing that Jake Avarillo will not be playing fullback and will be moved into the centres. I think this is an absolutely stupid move, and I think the Bulldogs will eventually go with Paul Alamotti, and I do think he will have a breakout year, absolutely killing it for the Doggies and winning the Rookie of the Year. All right. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, well, sort of my pick for Captain of the Year. I've gone James Tedesco. I think Jimmy is going to have a massive season for the Roosters again helping them get up to number two on the ladder. However, I think a lot of the Roosters players are going to score Dally M points. I do have another Rooster getting higher points than um, James Tedesco. We, we will get to that a bit later. So I, I actually don't have James Tedesco as my fullback, um, but I do think that he will help lead um, New South Wales to a Origin Series win. And I also think he will help lead the Roosters um, to second on the ladder, which is why I think Captain of the Year is fitting for him. My Coach of the Year, I've gone with Cameron Seroldo. So I've got the Doggies finishing around seventh this year, and I think he is in for a massive season. So Cameron Seroldo, rookie coach, but I tell you what, he's come through that Penrith system that has done outstandingly well. Um, we've seen how good of successes people can be in the NRL. Take Jason Demetrio, for example. He was the successor for Wayne Bennett. Hadn't really coached too much before that. Like, obviously, he's done assistant coaching and stuff at the Broncos with Wayne Bennett. But uh, when he came over, you know, the Rabbitohs weren't expected to make the prelims last year, and they did. So that's huge credit to him. And I think these rookie coaches, you know, that have come through good systems can definitely do well. And I think Cameron Seraldo will, leading the Bulldogs to a finals appearance. All right, my Kent Irvine medal, which is the top try scorer. I'm actually going a little bit left field here. I'm going a Cronulla Shark player. And no, I'm not going Ronaldo Mulatalo. I'm giving this one to Sione Katoa. I think Katoa is in for a breakout year. He went down with an injury last season. And that really just derailed his whole season. I'm pretty sure he was out for the year. We may have came back in finals. I can't exactly remember. Uh, so my apologies on that. But I do think we will see a massive year from Sione Katoa. And he is my top try scorer this year. All right, top point scorer. I've given it to Latrell Mitchell. Now, if Latrell can stay healthy this year, I think he can definitely be a top point scorer. I reckon he could get within, you know, maybe the top 10 to 15 try scorers uh, for the season. I reckon him and Alex Johnston will lead the Rabbitohs for tries scored. And with him being the goal kicker, he's going to pile on a lot of points. And I do think we will see Latrell be the top, the top point scorer. My VB hard-earned player 
is another Rabbitoh. This one is going to Kion Koloa Matangi. Um, last year, Isaiah Papali'i won it, and we all saw how good of a season he had. I think we're going to see a similar sort of season from Kion Koloa Matangi. I've got Kion making the New South Wales Blues team. I think he's going to have an absolute ripper of a season, and I cannot wait. Um, my NRLW Player of the Year, I've gone with a pretty... I think a lot of people would probably pick this one. I've gone with Tamika Upton. I think she's... Well, it, it all depends on how this whole... Um, these, these whole issues play out with the NRL, the RLPA, and the NRLW. But um, I think Tamika Upton is due for a massive season. So I've got her winning the NRLW Dally M. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. Don't worry. Nothing's changed except for some of my predictions for the team of the year. Now, um, after recording that original video, I went back and looked at my team of the year and I've made a few slight changes. Um, but everything else in the video has remained the same. Uh, we'll finish off with my Dally M predictions. As I said, I'll give you my top five. They have not changed. Um, but yes, my team of the year, I have made a few changes. There's only, I've only made one, two, two changes to the team of the year that I originally had. So um, originally I had Stephen Crichton in the team and I had um, Joe Tarpane. I've actually replaced them with two Cowboys players. So we will talk about my team of the year now. So at fullback, I've gone Latrell Mitchell. Uh, obviously, you know, I think he's going to have a big year stating, as I stated before, I think he will win the um, point, uh, top point scorer. My wingers, I've gone with Brian Ta'o and Sione Katoa. Again, I think Sione Katoa will have a massive year for Cronulla, um, helping them get to that top four spot. I think he'll have a very uh, similar year to what Alex Johnson, Johnston did for the Rabbitohs this year. I think him and AJ will absolutely fight it out for the top try scorer. Um, my centres, I've gone with Valentine Holmes and Joey Manu. Uh, as I said before, I originally had Critter there, but I do think we will see a massive year from Holmes, not just in the regular season, but in um, sort of the origin level as well. I think he's going to have a, he's going to step up and have a really really big season. Um, obviously, Joey Manu, I, I had him there originally. I think he will be the centre of the year. Um, there with Val. Uh, my 5'8", I've got Matt Burton. I know it might be a bit left field, but I do think if the Bulldogs are to make it into the top eight and potentially, you know, win a final or two, I think it's going to be on the back of a huge year for Matty Burton. Um, so I've got him as my 5'8 of the year. I know there's going to be players that, you know, there's going to be people that are annoyed that I didn't go, say, the Dylan Brown, Cam Munster, um... You know, a few other players you could talk about there too. Uh, but I've, yeah, I've gone with Matty Burton. Obviously, Jerome Luai is another one. I, I think we're going to see a huge breakout year from Matt Burton and the Doggies. So he is one of the players I have gone with. Uh, Nathan Cleary, my halfback. Uh, obviously, that one will, um, will answer a lot of questions later when I announce my top five um, Dally M players. I've then gone in the front row, James Fisher-Harris, and I've gone Ruben Cotter. I did have Joe Tarpane, but I think like Valentine Holmes, we're going to see a massive breakout year again from Ruben Cotter. I expect him to absolutely kill it for the Cowboys this year. So they are my front rowers. And then I've gone with Harry Grant at dummy half. Um, I think I think Grant is arguably the best dummy half in the NRL, and we're going to see that this year. I think he's going to break fully away from his competition at dummy half and start moulding into a similar Cameron Smith style. Obviously, I don't think we're ever going to see a dummy half as good as Cameron Smith, but I think Harry Grant will come very close, and this is the first um, year that I think we will see an explosion from him at the hooker position. My second row is I've gone Liam Martin with Viliami Kikau going. He's going to have a bigger role there. I understand Luke Garner and Zach, Zach Hoskins have proven themselves at uh, NRL level. They've also got Scott Sorensen, but he will be their, their veteran 
uh, second rower, and I think he's going to absolutely step up and have a career year. So I've got him as one of my second rowers of the year. My other second rower is also my VB um, hardworking player, and that is Keon Kaloa Matangi. I think we're going to see a very similar um, year to what we saw from Jeremiah Nanai. I've got Keon making my origin side, and yeah, I think he's going to have an amazing season. And then my lock of the year is another rooster. I've got Victor Radley. I know there's players like Isaiah Yo and Cameron Murray that miss out here, but I think we're going to see a massive year from Big Victor. All right. So we now go on to my Dally M predictions. And my Dally M top five, as you can see on the screen right now, my Dally M player of the year is Nathan Cleary. My next four, so it's second, I've gone Harry Grant, third, Latrell Mitchell, fourth, Nico Hines, and fifth, Victor Radley. And we're going to see massive years from a massive year from all these players. But I do think Nathan Cleary is going to step up and have a huge, huge year for the Panthers, taking them to that minor premiership once again. Um, but yes, guys, look, there's not too much more to say about these players. I've already spoken a little bit about them. Obviously, Nico Hines, I think, will have another amazing season for the Sharks. Um, I think they will finish in the top four this year, and he will be up there again for... Uh, Dally M, but I do think Cleary will get it. Uh, Harry Grant, not too much more to talk about with him. I think we're going to see a breakout year from Harry. Uh, another reason why I don't think Munster will get 5-8 of the year. I think uh, Matty Burton will get the majority of the Bulldogs points this year um, because and Munster will get less due to Harry Grant having a huge season. Um, Latrell Mitchell, I think, will arguably run away as the Rabbitohs' best player this year. Yeah, you've obviously got Cameron Murray, Cody Walker, who can take points from him, but I don't think so. I think we will see a lot of points come through Latrell Mitchell. Um, and then Victor Radley, I think it's gonna be um, I think it's gonna be his year this year. I know James Tedesco will probably get a few points here and there, but I think Victor Radley will um, surprise a lot of people. And they are my predictions for the Dally M NRL player of the year. Obviously, Nathan Cleary winning it all. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments who you've got as your Dally M Player of the Year. I'd love to hear from you guys. And that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much once again. And as always, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.